Hey YouTube, this is Quentin from Network Creations TV and uh, what I have is a review of a custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm going to turn it on and let you see the, uh, the boot animation. It's kind of interesting and different. What this is, this is a, uh, a AOKP ROM, the Open Source Kang Project is what that stands for. Uh, it's sort of like Cy Cyanogen Mod. Uh, type of ROM. Uh, it's an original ROM uh, made by a lot of uh, different developers. It's basically it's just a stock uh, Google or stock Android ROM and this one's based on Jelly Beans. You can see it boots pretty fast. With this ROM is what's really cool is it basically like like I said you have a stock version of a uh, and I have a text message you have a, uh, a stock version of a uh, Android, basically Jelly Bean 4.11 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this is the A, this is the AT&T version, and uh, you know, but the it, they have other ROMs for the uh, different versions, like the international version also. But just let you just just to let you know, this is the AT&T version. The thing about this ROM though, you have different options. As you can see, I've added uh, different things. Uh, that you can launch from the lock screen. You have Google Now, the camera, and I've added Car Home also. But we'll get into that uh, as we get further along. As you can see, this is just, I mean, it's, no, I'm running a Nova Launcher. So uh, this is not the stock launcher because I like Nova Launcher a little better. But uh, as you can see, everything's stock. You know, you got the, the same type of drop down, you know, with the, uh, like Jelly Bean with the Roboto font. Uh, as you notice, I have a custom toggle, and that's something else I, that's part of the ROM, and I'll get into that. But you have the, the email, uh, the notification area, and everything's pretty much the same. And uh, see, I have some updates. Uh, we can go into the settings. Now, you can go into the settings from here, or you can go in uh, just like on the S3 if you have Nova Launcher installed from this area. So we'll go into settings, and uh, you can see it's the typical, you know, if you have a Nexus device, uh, Galaxy Nexus or Nexus 7, it's the typical ice cream sandwich jelly bean uh, menu. The difference you'll see is you have here, you have ROM control, and uh, let me go in just a little so you can see it. But right here, you have... Uh, ROM control and AOKP OTA and themes and uh, animation manager. Uh, ROM control, you can go in here and there's a lot of different options in this area. You can uh, you have your general UI. You can you can have a custom boot animation, custom carrier label. You can uh, in the drop down where it has AT and T on my phone. You can change that to something else. You can change the notification background. Uh, a lot of stuff on here you can do. Some stuff I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Uh, a lot of things I like about it is because uh, there are things that I like in uh, in uh, the skin, like a uh, HTC Sense or not Sense uh, that I like in Samsung TouchWiz. Also, that's not available on the. Uh, on the, like a stock ROM or stock system which is the lock screen you know you can have a different wallpaper for your lock screen you can you, you, on here you can change the lock screen the text color you can uh, put the lock screen battery percentage menu unlock wake to unlock volume wake just a lot of different options lock screen targets is just what I I just showed you and uh, in this menu you can basically uh, from here you can uh, choose which target you want. So basically right now I have it set for four targets. So I can drag this to the camera and then I can choose what target I would want to replace that with. So you basically just click on that and you just choose from the application of what you know what application you want to change that target to. But I don't want to change it. I just wanted to show you that. And then once you change it you just click the save button and it'll save it. But and you can see how it's got the smooth transitions, just like on a jelly bean. Uh, another thing you can do: uh, lock screen target amount. 
you can you know have choose the amount right now I have four you can choose up to eight so three to eight targets which that's pretty cool uh, you can also enable weather calendar once you enable calendar you have a bunch of another a whole bunch of other options you can choose from but there's a lot a lot of different options another thing I like about this ROM is they have a uh, now it wasn't like this before but they they're constantly updating it um, this ROM you can have you can um, it has a AOKP OTA and basically you check for OTA when there's a ROM update and in fact I just updated one and I have to update this one and you can download it and install the ROM um, right on the device actually and the, the better way is to, to, uh, to just install it download it don't install it and then go into clockwork my recovery wipe your David cache and wipe your uh, cache petition and then install it uh, for those of you who install ROMs you, you know what I'm talking about but and I'll provide a link uh, in the description so you can uh, go and see what about this ROM and how to install it anyway uh, another thing I like about the, uh, this this ROM is uh, there's another area which I was just in in ROM control you can control like their battery what type of battery style you want like I have the circle mod but you can choose uh, text only icon with center text like see I just switched it and it's the icon with center text which I like that too you can hide it completely I mean whatever you want to do I mean there's just a lot of cool options with this ROM uh, battery bar style I haven't really tried that uh, charging animation I haven't tried that but it says it could do something have poor experience uh, another thing is your clock like you can see I have this right here I have a center clock with the uh, the p.m. date on here and uh, you can have the clock center you can have it just the uh, you can have a 24 hour clock you don't have to have the p.m. you can have the date day of the week uh, you can change the color just several a bunch of cool options in this in this ROM which I really like uh, also the LED you can set the LED to come on and off at a certain time I believe you can you can change the brightness I haven't did too much with the LED I think I set it to a certain amount of blinking interval that I like and, and there's several other options on here that you know that I haven't even touched on really that I haven't really dealt with there's a lot of performance options you can change your CPU speed. Um, I don't really mess with the governor settings, and I mean, just a bunch of stuff that I don't. I don't really mess with all of that. But people that are more experienced in custom ROMs, they like to tweak it and do all that stuff. I mainly like the visual stuff in it. You know, like the, the being able to uh, change my lock screen wallpaper and uh, add things to my lock screen to launch from. Uh, but. I mean other than that it's pretty it's a it's a really nice ROM. Oh and you can see about phone I'm running Android 4.11 and uh it's the kernel it's a Synergen mod uh I think that's the kernel right there. It's a Synergen mod Synergen mod kernel. So I mean like I said it's similar to something like Cyanogen mod which I haven't really tried. I wanted to try the AOKP ROM versus the AO uh SP ROM because I was just uh, just to try something different but I, I really like it I mean I like the stock experience uh, ever since uh, I've been updating getting the OTA updates I haven't really went back to uh, the stock of Jelly Bean or stock excuse me the stock of Galaxy S3 uh, you know with TouchWiz and all that also another cool thing they added to this ROM is the the TV off animation is, and you know there's a lot of uh, there's so many options you can you can have with it so if you're really into uh, tweaking your device and just playing with it and the geeky stuff like I like you know uh, that's the type of ROM for I mean this is the type of ROM for you excuse me and uh, you know just a, but this is a quick overview of it like I said this is Nova Launcher uh, you can use the stock launcher or other, any other kind of launcher you would like. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you can know, how to, know where to download this ROM if you want to try it out. Uh, like I said, it's really cool. The battery life is really good on it. It doesn't really 
you know, some of those people sometimes they have problems with the battery life. Uh, this is the AT and T one, so uh, you know it. it I mean, it's, it's on AT and T. You don't have to change any APN settings. Uh, one other thing is cool about this ROM is it represents uh, a actually an actual true uh, uh, signal strength or signal about what you have. Like it, if you're say like you're in an LTE area like I'm in. It'll say 4G, but if it goes into an area where it's HSPA+, plus, it'll say H+. Plus. Or if it's just HSPA, it'll say H or 3G, 3G, or vice versa. Whereas, you know, AT&T, uh, they call 4G HSPA+, plus, which, I mean, it's just as fast, but some people don't consider that really the real 4G. It's not just as fast, but it's pretty fast. But um, anyway... Uh, like I said, this is a really neat ROM. Uh, it's a AOKP um, open source Kang project. And of course, you have to be rooted to to do this. So, uh, and that, that's a no brainer. But uh, this is just a, a a quick overview of this ROM. If there's any other questions you have on it, uh, just let me know. Um, and then I'll I'll provide a link in the uh, description where you can see how to install it and just make sure you read the instructions thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And then just install it and have fun. I mean, it's a it's a cool ROM. But anyway, thanks for viewing my video, and I hope you uh this was this was informational for you. And this is Quinn from Network Creations TV. Have a nice day.